I want to go over an eBay torch kit. Now, eBay doesn't make the torch kit, but it's sold on eBay. So I told Ian, don't buy a torch kit off eBay. Reason being, I bought one before and it didn't perform right. Well, Ian finds one that has good reviews and seems to be a legitimate, good quality, decent price torch kit. Well, day one, we had multiple problems with it. The gauges don't work on one of the tanks. The one tank that I, they probably did work on, then the line exploded off of it. So before you buy your eBay torch kit, make sure that you invest in life insurance, get a good life insurance policy, at least a million dollars, and make sure you get a good health insurance policy. If you do survive, you wanna make sure you're well taken care of. Also, if you do survive and it does burn the place down, you wanna make sure you have a good insurance policy on your building in addition to your life insurance and health insurance policies. So I wanna show you how dangerous this torch kit is. Now, what I'm talking about here isn't the tanks Though Ian did get a tank off eBay, and you can see it doesn't have a cap on it. And you can't get one on that one. What I'm talking about here is the regulators and the hoses and the torch piece, or the torch head, I guess you could call it. Well, the main thing from day one, some of the gauges aren't working. I guess it's one of these. I don't really know. I didn't mess with this. And then from day one, the oxygen hose, once we plumb pressure to the hose it separated right here not on the line itself where it threads but right here came it's floating off now I want you to get an idea that was oxygen what if it was acetylene and we had already ignited our torch imagine a flame just shooting off of the acetylene tank how can you handle that? What I'm trying to explain here is it's not safe to buy some of these parts that are sold online that aren't a true name brand and they can kill you. I don't even know why this is even sitting here anymore. But what they have done is we did get new air hoses or yeah, I guess you can call them air hoses. We got new hoses for it, which was, I think, $36. So the kit for the lines, the regulators, and the torch head was all around $80. Now, I've bought a kit before that was about that price, and it didn't really perform right. So I ended up getting rid of that, and we got a good quality Victor set. And that was about $200 is what I paid for that but it cut like it was supposed to and did everything it was supposed to. Now the other one that I didn't use for very long, yeah, it worked, but you have to think. This kit right here from day one already has multiple problems. The gauges don't work on one side of the gauges and the lines are coming off. So in addition to the problems, I already had to buy new lines so it would have made more sense just to buy a quality kit that I won't have to worry about. Now this handle and nozzle thing does look like it's in pretty, pretty decent quality, but we haven't used it to cut any metal or anything. We've just been using it to heat stuff up. But still, I mean, you wonder, should I even trust this, the connections, the fittings? What if there are any leaks with that will spark and ignite fuel outside of the handle? There's kind of a lot to worry about with, based on what we've already been through with this thing. We go to buy a product as far as quality goes, and we're seeing problems in day one or day two. Day three and day four don't look very promising. 